Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Some beautiful weather as we uh, head into midweek here. Uh, and, uh, you know, it gets you thinking spring. Well, it is officially one week away uh, from today. So the vernal equinox uh, will be Tuesday, the 29th. Uh, at 11.06, uh, so just seven days from now, we have some spring-like weather, but we also have some wintry weather uh, to talk about just in time for spring, right? Uh, that's a look live downtown tonight. Beautiful night out there. Uh, we've got a clear sky overhead, 36 winds are calm. Here's what to expect. So warming weather uh, as we go through the day tomorrow, I think low to mid 60s easily. Uh, and most of Thursday should be uh, pretty nice as well. Late in the day, there's going to be some showers and then some wet weather Friday. Um, I don't think it's like all day, uh, but there will be some rain around on Friday. For the parade, in the morning, there could be some mist, cloudy sky, and then we'll give way to peaks of sun for the afternoon. St. Patrick's Day, uh, there could also be some wet weather, uh, still a little... Uh, give and take on the timing, but I'm hoping that the rain will taper at least into the afternoon so we can salvage at least some of St. Patrick's Day and then colder again next week, just in time for spring. Not much going on out there tonight. Uh, there are the wind turbines out there in uh, Herkimer County. You know, when I'm talking about wind turbines on the weather, there's not much going on. So temperatures 39, Rome, uh, Marcy 40 downtown. Uh, numbers in the upper 30s to low 40s from Cooperstown uh, down to Milford. Uh, Oneonta is at 39 and in the low 30s up at the heart of the Adirondacks. The old storm system uh, out over Newfoundland and moving away into Atlantic Canada. Uh, still spiraling some colder weather, some snow into Halifax, Nova Scotia. Our weather coming from the south and west. So warmer air moving in as we go into the day tomorrow. Uh, we'll have clouds and sunshine kind of sharing the sky. So at times partly to mostly sunny, at times there'll be some thicker clouds. Inside the thickest cloud cover, there might be a five minute sprinkle. It's not a huge deal. It'll move through fairly quickly if it happens at all. Uh, you can see it right there. Uh, and I think by the afternoon numbers again, into the low and mid 60s. Clouds will increase through the day Thursday. Most of Thursday's rain free, but we get towards sunset, thicker clouds roll in. And remember, sunset now is seven o'clock. So I think we're gonna have all day Thursday to enjoy before clouds roll in and then around or after sunset, uh, there's gonna be a few showers. Tonight, uh, clear to partly cloudy, quiet, calm night, low and mid 30s tomorrow. Partly to mostly sunny at times, warm. Again, that brief five minute sprinkle of little consequence, pretty meaningless. It'll pass through, not going to ruin the day. 64. And you'll be able to see all this warmth uh, gathering out here in mid country. That is what uh, rolls east as we head through the uh, rest of the week before we start to turn cooler again going into the weekend. So beautiful day tomorrow, 64. Shower late Thursday. Depending on how fast clouds come in, we could be in the low 60s again Thursday, but I'm worried about wet weather late. Uh, some showers or light rain Friday, clearing Saturday. For the parade weather, cloudy, maybe some sprinkles, uh, but not bad, 50, turning cooler for St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully the rain tapers by the afternoon to allow for some breaks of sunshine. And then what happens as we go into next week? It's spring, but it's not. <laughs> With snow showers and temperatures below average for a change. That's spring in New England, or I guess we're not in New England. We're close enough. We're close, <laughs> we're close. <laughs> All right, we're talking the free agency tonight, Brennan. Right? Yeah, NFL free agency opening up yesterday, so a lot of deals being done by the Bills, Giants, and, well, not so much the Jets. But we'll talk about exactly what they have done Ooh. as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> as a Packers fan, I agree, 100%. <laughs> Uh, other than that, we're talking about the New York Rangers and Syracuse basketball, all coming up in sports right after this. 